Alright, fellow freshwater fiends or whoever else is on this channel watching this video. We just pulled up to this little spot. Got me and Trayton. It's uh, literally about a foot deep. But there's a little hole behind us that he is fishing. There's a little hole in front of us that has this little culvert coming in, a little drain. I don't, I, it's not very deep, but... I'm just using a jig pole with a little crappie magnet. I want a 1 16th ounce jig head with a sickle hook and a weed guard on Slab Daddy two piece nine foot limber limber rod. So as soon as we pull it up, I made two casts, caught two fish, a goggle eye and a bluegill. I did video the release, so I'll probably stick that in right now. Mr. Bluegill, thank you. Goodbye. Mr. Goggle Eye, Warmouth, thank you for the bite. I see a huge fish back there, but this tree is not really letting me cast too good. So. Got another one. Oh, he let it go. God dog it, and he hung me up in the top of this tree. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, we back. We back. God dog it. Alright, these got to be some little guys. You ever want to stop catching fish? Throw a camera on your chest to try to video it. Guarantee for the fish to stop biting. There's one. There's one. Little bitty guy. The one that's hitting you? Cool. I didn't even hook him in the mouth. Look at that poor fellow. Let's try to get him gently. No blood. Oop. Back in the water. That could have been a little bit more. Uh... Dang, as soon as I hit the water. Oop. Got another one. More mouth. Little bitty goggle eye. Tell you what, they're tiny, but they're fun. Thank you, sir. And when you feel them take, when you feel them hitting it, Trayton, you gotta give them a minute. Like, don't as soon as you feel the bite, don't go snatching. So you say I just hit it and I'm kind of letting him run. You reel down and you give him a little pop. See, I got him on. Oh, I knew it was going to be a boat. Big old shoe pick. Because I know where they're at it right here. No, you didn't. Trayton. Oh, yes, he come off. Good. I didn't bring a net. What we're using today is just a... Uh, it's a blue flaked, I forgot the name of the color, but just a five inch dinger. Wacky rig. Weedless hooks. Trayton's using a green pumpkin with a chartreuse tip. Do I need to get you closer, bud? Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Finally made a good cast. You'll catch fish right there. You need to make sure you... Oh, he hit it again. Here we go. Got him. <laughs> Look at him doing the theatrics, babe. He's hooked on a corner of the mouth. I can probably just grab that hook. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me uh, those little the pinchers are right there. Where the bag was. Hold on, I can just grab the hook. He's gonna go. He's gonna go nuts as soon as I grab it. There it goes. That's two. I told you where they at. Yeah, you. You got the same fish twice. I don't know if that was the same one. Could have been. If it was, he sure is hungry. This little alley right here. See, I hit the tree. I hit the tree. I'm letting it fall. I'm just kind of watching my line. I'm just bumping it. See? I can feel anything that comes. You can feel when you hit a stick. I feel when you get a fish. All right, did you set the hook on it good? Stop, stop. Easy. Whoa, that sucker's pulling. <laughs> okay, don't reel no more. Don't reel no more. What is that? It's a bowfin. Another freaking bowfin. All right. Look, push the button, give it a little slack. Okay. Now reel. Lock it. Okay. Wait a sec. I don't even know what kind of fish. <laughs> it keeps going under. I had a fish and it popped me off. I knew I should have retied. I think it ate my worm. They usually do. It ate my worm. All right. No way I'm losing that fish, though. Because look at it. It ate my worm. Right in its face. Jesus. Just splashed everything. Ooh. Yep. All right, filler. Come, come, come see the dentist. Ooh. All right. Drayton got him a bowfin. I. It was like silent. It wasn't <laughs> doing anything. Then I started to pull and it just hooked. All right, watch that hook. It ain't All right, you need to do something. Mm, just let it go. <laughs> Hold him up. Hold him up. Open it. Flip it. Yep, there you go. See you later, dude. That thing was a fighter. It wasn't doing anything, so I thought I was just stuck. Then it started to move. Got something up with his back. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, water's crystal clear here. See you later, dude. There he went. So we are uh, floating along, fishing in this little shallow cut. And all of a sudden, Trayton says, hey dad, there's a fishing rod. See what you got, buddy. Oh, it's still got a frog on it. Yeah. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. What is it? What is it? It is. Hold on, let me 
clean some of this mud off. What we got? What we got? The, it ain't been in there that long because the cork ain't all. I mean, it is kind of waterlogged, but let's see. I can't even tell what that is. The quantum seven seven point zero. Quantum mat metric mat matric. I don't know. Somebody knows what this is. Let me know. Maybe it's on a Berkeley Bionic six six medium medium action. Yeah, not really a frog rod, but nevertheless, got us a new rod, new reel. I'm more excited about the reel. Might give Trayton the rod. What? <laughs> so what'd you find, bud? A bait caster. We ain't catching no fish, but we're catching rods and reels. It's a good day. So, people want to know, why do you buy a tiny boat? Why not get a bass boat that you could go super fast? Why do you need a tiny boat? Especially why do you need a tiny boat sometimes with a mud motor? So, tiny boat. Let me show you why. Do you see what we're fishing in? Bottom. The bottom of what? Uh, how clear? Yeah, super shallow, super shallow water, crystal clear water. Have seen and caught some bass we've seen a bunch of other little fish there's something right there um but this is why you get a tiny aluminum boat because you there, there's there's little stumps there's all kind of stuff in here we are breezing through this no problem so you if the fish are in here you got to get where the fish are at and you can't do it with a fiberglass boat this is why you get a tiny boat later